With Congress facing a fast approaching budget deadline, one Homeland Security agency with a huge presence in the Bay Area is feeling the heat. The U.S. Coast Guard is no longer looking for a budget increase. It is now fighting against a massive cut. The president's budget called for a nearly $3 billion increase in spending for the Department of Homeland Security. But the Coast Guard, part of DHS, was slated to see a budget cut of $1.3 billion. Well, after a lot of pushback, Homeland Security is now lobbying Congress just to keep the Coast Guard's budget the same. The Weishi is one of three cutters based in Alameda, all part of the Coast Guard's new fleet of ships used in the very modern battle against terrorism, illegal immigration, and drug smuggling. In a recent interview with KPIX 5, Coast Guard Vice Admiral Fred Midget described the enemy as a very sophisticated bad guy. These guys are, are peddling drugs and money and death. And they really don't have a moral or an ethical way of doing business, but they are a big business and they're very well resourced. He says more drugs are being confiscated now than any time in his 35 years with the Coast Guard. Last year it was a record 444,000 pounds of cocaine. But in addition to battling terrorists and smugglers, the Coast Guard is also in a furious fight in Washington over money. Just after the president's 2018 budget was announced, Admiral Paul Zumkampf, commandant of the Coast Guard, was asked by California Congressman John Garamendi about the proposed cuts. Please give me the top three problems that it would create for the Coast Guard. Well, I'd begin with the uh, acquisition of our ninth national security cutter, um, because that would be removed. It would cut our only, our department's only counterterrorism capability. And. We enjoy the highest retention rate of any armed service, but our service members look to me as though I have broken faith as their leader. They look to me as their leader, nobody else. The Admiral made it clear a cut would be devastating, and even keeping the budget the same would be a setback. Uh, I, I cannot take delight in, in a budget that continues to fall short of our annualized requirements in operations and maintenance. Our current level of service are, are old ships and an underfunded and undermanned service. While many changes to the budget are expected, Congress would have to pass a budget resolution by the end of September to keep the government from shutting down.